Hello, it's a gamer's wife, AKA Irene, and I just filmed today, so I have a face full of makeup. And I remember somebody said recently in one of my videos that they wanted to see what my skincare routine is. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, I have normal to oily skin, so I actually still get zits in my T-zone, primarily like chin and nose area kind of. So I have to use, I don't have to, but I use the same exact routine really in the morning and evening. And it's got like acne oil reducing related stuff because when I try to use other serums or retinol at night to prevent wrinkles and whatnot, um, and I don't use the acne prevention stuff, I break out. <laughs> so let's see how many products I use. Okay, first off is makeup removal. For eye makeup remover, I use this Mary Kay liquid, but let me know if you guys know of a better one that I can buy without having to order it through Mary Kay. So drugstore brand would be great. And then for makeup remover, I use Clinique. So again, if you know of a cheaper drugstore brand, I would be so thrilled to hear about it. Next up is time to clean my face with soap or foaming cleansers that are meant for normal to oily skin. So I just get mine from drugstore brands. These are like from Target. So this is uh, the Cetaphil Derma Control line, which is for like oily faces, acne, that kind of thing. I definitely need this stuff. And then I like to alternate with the CeraVive normal to oily foaming cleanser. So here we go. Next, I use this Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number no. 3, which is again for combination oily skin. And as you can see, I have gotten one of these pump heads that I also use for aquarium fertilizer. Obviously, this is a brand new one, but it just makes it so much easier so I can just squirt it easily onto my cotton ball instead of having to take off the lid, dunk it over, and then put it back in. So, easy peasy. This stuff is alcohol free from what I remember. So it's not going to dry out your skin overly so. And then I know you're not supposed to pop zits, but sometimes when I've got one that's really, really bad and painful, I will use this stuff as well. I'll put like um, two Q-tips that are kind of drenched in this stuff and then use it to gently massage a zit or something. So this is not good <laughs> skincare advice but I am just telling you it kind of like, not necessarily sanitizes it or disinfects it, but it's a lot better, cleaner than using your fingers <laughs> for sure. The final step of my routine is moisturizer. I do have a separate one for my eyelids versus the rest of my face. I basically have to use this Cetaphil Derma Control again, oil absorbing moisturizer with sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 30. So I use this nighttime or daytime. Not that I need the SPF at night, but um, if I don't have whatever this oil removing awesomeness on my skin, even at night, um, I will start to break out in large zits. And then for my eyes, I bounce around with the eye cream I use, but recently my mom wanted me to order some of this L'Oreal Dermo Expertise Eye Defense on Amazon for her. And I was like, sure, I'll give it a try. The one I tried before this was a CeraVe eye cream of some sort, night eye cream. So here we go. Oh yeah, last thing, it's very dry in um, Colorado. So I'd like to use this Carmex Classic Lip Balm SPF 15. And again, it is my daytime and nighttime routine. And that is my skincare routine. It's very, very simple. I'm sure I did a lot of things wrong, like not using serums and vitamin C and all sorts of stuff. But, you know, at heart, I'm kind of an engineering tomboy kind of person. So most days I don't even wear makeup. I just do the foaming cleanser soap stuff. And then I do the toner and then the two kinds of moisturizer. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. See ya.